Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about the top three hardest engineering degrees. So let's get started. As we all know, there's various types of engineering degrees, and within those degrees, you can get an emphasis in a particular subject or topic. So I'm just going to give an overview on what I found to be the top three hardest engineering degrees. So that way you guys, if you're going to major in one of these degrees that are more difficult to be prepared. So I hope you guys find this helpful and useful, and I'm just going to get straight to it. So the number one difficult degree is electrical engineering. Shocker, um, I know I've said this in previous videos, but electrical engineering and computer engineering, which is you know part electrical engineering, they're one of the most toughest engineering degrees that you could get. And it's mainly because the electrical engineering degree focuses on physics and mathematics. And those two topics are very abstract type thinking. And that kind of thinking is what makes it very difficult for students to comprehend and to understand. For example, with other engineering degrees like civil engineering, you're able to visually conceptualize the abstract that you're going to make. And you start building it and making it and you can see it come together. Um, so it's easier for you to see how it'll turn out if you were to change the things that you needed to or to add certain things. Um, whereas with electrical engineering, you can't see electrical currents and circuits. It's all just there and it exists, but you can't see it. So this also involves uh, being very creative in the way you would build the circuit. You have to think of a way to uh, work with it so that it'll light up a light bulb or it'll do certain things. So it'll, it requires a lot more abstract thinking and how you can manipulate that circuit or that electricity to uh, do what you want it to do. So that is why electrical engineering is number one. It's just very, very difficult to understand. The second most difficult engineering is chemical engineering. Now, I did not know this. I'm actually kind of surprised by this, uh, but it falls right under electrical engineering. And mainly because from what I've understood and from what I've read, it's because it combines complex engineering fundamentals and it applies it to uh, chemistry concepts, which is a completely different field. So you have, you know, engineering on one hand and then you have a chemistry on another and they're just polar opposites. So it's like having to study for two different types of subjects. Uh, you have to study for engineering and then you have to study for chemistry and they just don't collide very well together. But you know, there is that chemical engineering, so you can combine them. It's just a lot more difficult to do so because they're just so different from each other. And the link between these two is the manufacturing and the process. So they're experts in transforming raw material into the goods that we use in everyday lives. You'll often see like chemical engineers that take on the role of a chemical technologist, a pharmaceutical engineer, or a plant or chemical process engineer. So that's why it's a lot more difficult to major in this field. You have to learn engineering, you have to learn mathematics, and you have to learn chemistry. So you're gonna be studying for a long time. The third most difficult engineering degree is aerospace engineering. Um, again, I'm shocked by this, I did not know this, uh, but apparently it's because aerospace engineering is very close to mechanical engineering in terms of like the concepts that it covers. However, aerospace engineers put a special emphasis on designing and maintaining the machines that fly. And this type of major is well suited for someone who wants to work in a national defense or for NASA. Um, although aerospace engineers are also useful in the private section, um, particularly in automotive functioning. So like mechanical engineers, aerospace engineers have a heavy course load in mathematics with very complex concepts that you'll have to call upon quickly and often. Aerospace engineers would need to study fluid dynamics, which is basically the study of fluids and glasses. And I, I don't know anything about this, but I guess that's very complicated because it's something that's not even close to engineering or even aerospace engineering. Um, I feel like it's similar to that chemical engineering where there are two different topics that you have to study while you're going to school. So it seems like it's a very demanding job. You'll be um, you know, having to solve these complex concepts very quickly because you'll probably have clients or customers that are looking for answers to this. So those are the top three uh, most difficult engineering courses and I'll put them right here. After reading about chemical engineering, I'm actually not surprised that it's number two. Um, I actually think that it might be comparative to number one, maybe it could be number one, um, because of the two different topics that you have to learn and all the material you have to cover. Uh, but again, you know, obviously, based on various students that have been surveyed, 
uh, the number one is electrical engineering and then it's chemical engineering. Um, now, number three, which is aerospace engineering, I'm actually kind of shocked by because I didn't think that that would even be on the list or I didn't even know that that was, you know, one of the engineering fields. Um, I sh should probably know that, but I don't because I was just, I'm focused on electrical and computer engineering. Um, but, you know, aerospace engineering is one of them. I thought maybe it would be mechanical engineering. Um, but again, you know, it's just because of the different topics that you have to cover. And I guess I could see that now. So yeah, those are the top three hardest engineering courses. And if you are going to major in one of them, um, be prepared because it's going to be a lot of work. You're going to be studying a lot and it's going to be very, very challenging for you. So I am actually thinking about making another video, part two, about the top three easiest engineering courses. And if you guys would like to see that video, then please like this one and let me know in the comments below that way I know that I should make the next video and not just waste your guys's time and my own um, so yeah I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching bye